Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now going to go through the January 2024 um, Pure Mathematics P2 paper from uh, Edexcel International A Level. And um, you know, I'm going to go through these, this paper. This is a WMA1201 paper. And I'm going to go through this paper uh, question by question, saving each question in a separate playlist so that uh, you can refer to the playlist for the paper and the playlist for the topic um, eventually when uh, you know if students need to do some um, searching for different types of questions and um, also uh, bear in mind I'm not just going to just read through the mark scheme and you know give the answers like that I'm going to try to in some cases uh, explain um, some of the basics of the topic such that students who have issues with certain topics can benefit from uh, you know those explanations okay so I might take a bit longer than you might like in some questions but that's because I have certain students in mind who ask me certain things or you know certain things I, I feel that from having taught or you know marked certain bits of work that certain um, you know points need to be clarified so I'm going to start with question number one which is about looks like it's the remainder theorem it says f of x equals ax cubed plus 3x squared minus 8x plus 2, where a is a constant. Given that when f of x is divided by x minus 2, the remainder is 3, find the value of a. So when we divide this by x minus 2, we end up with a quotient and a remainder of 3. Okay, now basically, what you'll understand is, the remainder theorem is, if you substitute whatever makes this bracket 0 into the original equation, then the number that's that comes out of that when you've substituted it the result is always the remainder when you divide by that factor so if the factor is x minus 2 and we divide uh, you know this expression by x minus 2 it, it will be a factor if uh, you know there's no remainder when you divide this by x minus 2 if it's not a factor then there'll be a remainder so when you put inside this function whatever makes this bracket zero which is going to be basically x equals two whatever makes this bracket zero when you put it put it inside the function okay then if the remainder is three then this f2 has to equal three when i replace the x with two when i replace the x with whatever makes this bracket become zero okay in the original function then what comes out is the remainder so here they tell us that the, the, the remainder is 3 when you divide by x minus 2. That means when we put x equals 2 inside here, what should come out is 3. If it said, given that x minus 2 is a factor of f of x, then the remainder that should come out would be 0. And we set it up of f2 equals 0, and then we can continue. But in this case, they told us it's not a factor, that there's a remainder of 3, so this is going to be true. So I'm going to now replace the x in this function with 2. So I'll have a times... 2 cubed plus 3 times 2 squared minus 8 times 2 plus 2 is equal to 3. Now, when I solve that for a, I should get my answer. This is going to be 8a plus that's 3 times 4, which is 12, minus 8 times 2, that's negative 16, plus 2 is equal to 3. So I'm going to have 14 minus 16, which is minus 2. So 8a minus 2 is equal to 3. 8a is equal to 3 plus 2, which is 5. So a is equal to 5 over 8. a is a constant. It didn't say integer, it said constant. That's fine. So a is 5 divided by 8. Just to make sure. 2 cubed, that's 8. 4 times 3, 12. 2 times minus 8, negative 16, plus 2. That's 12 plus 2, 14. Minus 16 is negative 2. Add 2 to both sides, divide by 8. That's correct. Simple as that. Okay, that's three marks. Very short quick question there for uh, number one um, and that completes question number one which is all about the remainder theorem okay so I'm going to save this as a separate video as I said and um, the other questions will come follow now if you want to find the other questions you can click on the link that will appear at the end of the video over here that will take you to the playlist for this particular paper and over here will be a playlist for the uh, topic of the remainder theorem and factor theorem you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link here and you will see a link to a video which tells you how to navigate my channel to find the things you might be looking for, whether it be IGCSE, AS, edX, a, a level edXL or A-level a Cambridge material. It will tell you how to, uh, you know, find all the 
topic indexes and the paper indexes that I have uh, provided. Um, that video will explain where you can find those things. Thank you for watching and see you soon.